All right, once you get the backrest out, we can start taking out this package tray. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove these plastic clips that are running along the edge here. And all you have to do is you just have to pry up. There's a little plastic like peg that goes inside. All you have to do is just pry, pull that little pin out, and then you can, you can pry up the whole actual piece, the whole little uh, clip that's holding this in there. So the way that works is it just, when you stick that in there, it allows the clip to push in like that, and then you put inside this uh, pin and that that spreads it out like that and keeps it open and that's what locks it in place. I'll show you that up close really quick. All right, now I'll just finish taking the rest of these out. All right, and then after you get all these clips popped out, then what we need to do is get these, um, these little trim pieces that go around the seat belts. We need to pop those out so that uh, when we take this package tray out, the seat belts will slide through the hole there. And that's pretty easy. All we're gonna do is just take a, uh, a plastic pry bar and we're just gonna pop these guys out of here just like that. They come out pretty easily. And then on the back, there's a little slit in these that we can slide the seat belt through and take these off. So that's pretty easy right there like that. I'll show you close up here. And then the seat belt will just slide through there just like that when we pull off this package tray. So I'll just pull off this last one here really quick. All right, and after we do that, there's three bolts in the back here and they're underneath these, uh, I think this, these are clips for like a car seat or something. I'm not really sure what these are for. I don't have kids, so I don't know how to put a car seat in anyways. Maybe one day. But uh, basically, there's a T30 Torx bolt down there. I'll show you up close really quick so you can see. You see way down in there? We got to get those bolts out. So... We're just going to take our T30, stick it down inside there. You should make sure that you have a Torx bit that's uh, got a fairly long shaft on it so that it'll reach down in there because if it's too short, it's going to get it's going to get stuck on the on the plastic here. So make sure that you have one that'll work for this job.
Yeah, these things must be for uh, attaching a car seat too, because this whole thing is super beefy. It's all made out of steel, so I'm assuming that's what that's for. All right, and then after we have these three bolts out in the back here, what we can do is just pull forward on this package tray and the whole thing's gonna slide out. And then we're just gonna stick the seat belts through these holes here. And we're slowly gonna work this out. You wanna be gentle because this thing's kind of fragile. You don't wanna bend it or damage it. Just like uh, be careful just like we were when we were doing the taking the headliner out. Okay, so it looks like the speakers are actually attached to this package tray. I thought that uh, it was just this speaker grill and the speakers were sitting underneath it. So anyways, before we can get this all the way out of here, we're gonna have to pop up the speaker grill on both sides, take out the speaker and unplug the, uh, the wires so that we can actually pull this piece out because that's what's stopping me right now is the wires that are still attached to the speakers in the back here. So I'm gonna use my plastic pry bar and just slowly pop these grills out. You wanna be really careful you don't damage these. Just slowly work your way around. Pop these guys out of here. All right, so there we got one out. So sometimes these uh, plastic pieces sitting in the sun for so long, they get old and kind of brittle. Looks like that's what happened on these ones here. Um, so it looks like two of the, the clips on this broke off, but I think that's gonna be okay because we still have the front and the back ones. These should hold it in just fine without any problems. Um, so I don't think uh, we're gonna have any issues here with that. All right, so it looks like these speakers are just held in with some eight millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna go get a uh, eight millimeter socket real quick and I'll be right back. All right, now that I got these speakers out here, I'm just gonna mark a mark on one of these connectors so that I, uh, I can make sure that I put this back together correctly when we're reinstalling this. So I'm just gonna put a little mark right there so I know where it goes. And then we can take these out. All right, so I'm just gonna mark which side speaker this is as well. In this one, I'm gonna mark P for passenger. And then I'm gonna put a little mark so we know which wire goes where. And these, uh, these connectors are kind of a little bit difficult to get out. Pretty much what you have to do is you have to pry up on this uh, this 
black part here on the speaker and then you kind of have to work the clip or the plug connector down with the tip of the screwdriver and you'll feel when it comes disengaged you can pull it out by hand Oh, there we go. All right, now we should be able to get this guy out of here. There, and you see how this, uh, this is almost purple. That's why I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to recover this. It used to be this color right here. You see how black that is? So this is gonna look really nice when we, uh, we cover this with some suede. All right, if you like that video and you wanna see another one, make sure you click to your right here. And don't forget about all the courses we have available at the Lucky Needle. Click here in the corner to get more information. And don't forget to subscribe right here. Mm -hmm.